Hello dear students, how are you all? This is Praful. I hope you all are doing fine. Welcome to One Page Biology. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the different features of a cloning vector, which is nothing but PBR322. Dear students, in my earlier video, I had explained you the concept of what exactly is cloning. So if you have not watched that video, please make sure that you watch the video of what exactly is a cloning vector. What do we understand by the word cloning vector, dear students? As we had said that vector is a vehicle by which we can actually transfer a foreign gene inside a particular host cell. So in biotechnology, there are different vectors which can be used. A vector like for example, a plasmid, which is actually a extra chromosomal DNA of a bacteria or even bacteriophages, yeast artificial chromosome, which can be used as a vector. Now in this particular video, we are going to understand the features of a particular plasmid, which is nothing but PBR322. Now talking about the very first important sequence in PBR322. This is nothing but the ORI sequence, dear students. What do we understand by the word ORI? ORI means origin of replication. Now, dear students, as we all know that inside the DNA, there is always origin of replication. So be it a eukaryotic DNA or a bacterial DNA, for that matter, any kind of DNA, DNA must have its own ORI sequence. That means it is nothing but a point where the DNA starts replication or it is a point on the DNA from where it starts dividing. So as we know that plasmid is nothing but an extra chromosomal DNA of bacteria. So even a plasmid has its own origin of sequence, which helps the plasmid to divide on its own. And this particular uh, ORI sequence must have always a high copy number. What do we understand by the word copy number? Copy number means it is the ability of a DNA to form many many copies. So for example, if a ORI sequence has got a high copy number, it can form many copies of DNA inside that particular cell. So if a plasmid has got a high copy number ORI sequence, that means it can form many many copies of plasmid in that particular cell. So likewise, PBR322 also has an ORI sequence which is of a high copy number. Now the second most important part of a cloning vector is nothing but a selectable marker. Now dear students here selectable marker is nothing but a gene which helps us to find out whether the bacteria has successfully taken up the plasmid or not. Just imagine for a minute that once we have transferred plasmid inside the bacteria and we allow the bacteria to multiply on a suitable medium and the next day when we check these bacteria can we directly identify the bacteria by looking at them whether they have successfully taken up the plasmid that means dear student there should be a method by which we should be able to successfully find out which bacteria has taken up the plasmid now dear students as far as pbr322 cloning vector was concerned in this particular vector the selectable marker genes were nothing but the antibiotic resistant genes these genes are actually resistant to different types of antibiotics like ampicillin chloramphenicol tetracycline etc and etc the two common antibiotic resistant genes which were used in pbr322 cloning vector were nothing but ampicillin resistant and the tetracycline resistant gene now the third very very important part of PBR322 cloning vector was nothing but a cloning site. Now dear students, the ultimate aim of cloning is nothing but to form many many copies of a foreign gene. Now this is only possible if we are able to fix a foreign gene inside the plasmid. So how can we fix a foreign gene inside a plasmid? For that we require something called as a cloning site. Now what exactly is a cloning site? Now dear students, the cloning sites are nothing but recognition sites of specific restriction enzymes. Now dear students, restriction enzymes are nothing but a special class of enzymes which can cut the DNA at specific sites. So these restriction enzymes have got specific recognition sequences on which they can cut. So a particular cloning vector must have few cloning sites so that the restriction enzymes can recognize those cloning sites and can cut the cloning vector on those sites. It is always preferable, dear students, it is always preferable to have few cloning sites on a particular cloning vector. Now you may wonder that why can't we have many many cloning sites. Now dear students, the reason is if there are many cloning sites on a particular cloning vector, this can result in the formation of fragments of the plasmid, which we do not need. The ultimate aim of cloning is to form many many copies of the desired gene. 
so we don't want the plasmid to break and form many many fragments so in order to avoid that dear students a plasmid should have only few cloning sites now in case of pbr322 dear students the foreign gene was initially inserted inside a cloning site which was present inside the tetracycline resistant gene and this cloning site was basically nothing but the bam h1 site now as you can see that the bam h1 site is present inside the tetracycline resistant gene that means those bacteria which have successfully taken up the plasmid will not be able to grow on a medium containing tetracycline the reason is the foreign gene was inserted inside the tetracycline resistant gene inside the bam h1 site but dear students still there is a confusion that whether the foreign gene has successfully inserted inside the plasmid or not so how do we check that now for that dear students the same bacteria which were grown on a medium containing tetracycline were transferred on a, another medium which was containing ampicillin so now dear students those bacteria which were not able to grow on tetracycline but they were able to grow on ampicillin that means the foreign gene was successfully inserted inside the tetracycline resistance gene so in that case those bacteria which were successfully able to grow only on ampicillin those are nothing but the recombinant bacteria now dear students based on this particular concept there was a question which was asked in neat 2017 let's try to find out the answer of this question the question is a gene whose expression helps to identify transformed cells is known as option number a is selectable marker option number b is vector option number c is plasmid and option number d is structural gene now dear students i am pretty sure that now since you have understood the concept of a cloning vector and different features of cloning vector you guys can easily find out this answer <coughs> so the right answer is selectable marker now let me give you one question for you all to solve at home dear students so this is your homework question and let me read the question the question is which of the following is not a feature of plasmid option number a circular structure option number b transferable option number c is single stranded and option number d is independent replication dear students try to answer this question and whatever answer you think so please put it in the comment section so dear students today's topic was from the chapter biotechnology principles i will be seeing all in the next video with some another biology related concept dear students till that time take care of yourselves thank you so much bye bye